But, um, you know, last like, two weeks ago yes. was when there was a court decision. Yes. But then, in your absence, Shraj, Yes. I didn't know that there were objections. Oh, yes. Major to, objections. Yeah, I didn't know that there were objections to the Shraj thing. Because, you know, all along, um, what we were told was that you had gone to Shraj, yes. uh, the affected persons uh, were cooperating with Shraj. But then, when we read, I, I actually read the details of the Shraj decision, and I realized that there indeed were actually some very serious um, objections, trying to oust the jurisdiction of uh, Shraj as far as this issue is, is concerned. Can, can you take us through, through, through what actually um, uh, the issues are? Yes, so, so you recall that on the uh, 16th of January, mm -hmm. uh, when I broke the story about the uh, double identity and conflict of interest scandal at the National Cathedral Secretariat, or within the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral Secretariat, where I revealed that a key member of the board, uh, the former secretary, of the board. He, is, he was the foundation secretary before Godfrey Yabuadami took over as secretary, who has now resigned. I, I did also a few days ago reveal that uh, the Attorney General has jumped ship. When did he resign? Um, he resigned on the 19th of January. This year? Uh, this year. 2023. Uh, January 2023. Um, what, what, what were his reasons? <clears throat> so I have a copy of his uh, letter here. The Executive Council of National Cathedral, uh, Godfrey Yabuadami. Resignation as secretary. Respectfully, as you are aware, at incorporation, I am named as secretary to the Executive Council of the National Cathedral of Ghana. However, owing to my limited involvement in the affairs of the organization and the demands of my office, I deem it necessary to vacate the position for a new secretary to be appointed. In the circumstances, I hereby respectfully notify you of my immediate resignation as secretary to the Executive Council. I wish the organization the best of God's blessings in the years ahead. Limited involvement. Limited involvement. So Whoa. very clever, very Whoa. clever resignation letter. Uh, many analysts believe that he wants to create an insulation for himself uh, because it's been full of scandals. Um, uh, when was this resignation? On the 19th of January, 2023. Uh, it, was, it was kept uh, away from everybody, from the, from the public. Uh, but as usual, uh, we keep digging and intercepting documents. Uh, I have the uh, response here. The board of the National Cathedral met and uh, accepted the resignation letter and has now appointed uh, a new secretary. Uh, they have uh, now appointed Senate Chartered Secretaries Limited. Um, interestingly, um, uh, a company which uh, has uh, some interest in ownership. Uh, <coughs> the, uh, the, the, the appointment takes effect uh, from the 16th of March 2023. So from the 16th of March. And I followed up to the... So the, the to board the, of the National Cathedral met? Yes. Are, are you privy to those yes. who are in attendance? Uh, well, I have the resolution signed by uh, Apostle Professor Pokunyana and Reverend Dr. Joyce Rosalind Ai. They mm. don't tell us who, <laughs> were, who were in attendance, mm. but they signed the board resolution. Mm. Uh, these two, Apostle Professor Pokunyana and Reverend Dr. Joyce Rosalind Ai. Mm. Uh, so they communicated to the Office of the Registrar of Companies uh, that they should uh, amend their records accordingly. And I have the amended records here. The articles of incorporation uh, reveal that uh, Godfrey Yebo Adami, the Attorney General, is no longer the Secretary and that uh, Senate Charter Secretaries have taken over. Uh, they have a lady called Esther Obin Dako, who, uh, is, uh, who is from Senate Charter uh, Secretaries. So she is replacing Godfrey Yebo Adami. Uh, it's, it's quite revealing um, because remember that I had been going after the Attorney General that really, if you are interested in going after people who make false statutory declarations, who mislead public officers, who are engaging in criminality, and now I can say that without a fact, the High Court, Human Rights Division, has ruled that the conduct of Kusibuatin Edu Jenfi borders on criminality. Borders on criminality. 
So if you are an attorney general minister of justice, not selective justice, but justice, you can't be going after Honorable Kwesin saying he should be having a daily trial, to be prosecuted on a daily basis. And then your board member, who you are sitting with, and this resignation has come late in the day, <laughs> in 2023. These matters were happening from 2019 all the way to 2022. Indeed, the relevant period is 2021, where he was there. So even though his resignation letter, clever as he thinks he is, saying I have had limited involvement, <laughs> you are me, me, the, the, it, the, the it's, boss secretary. It's probably been factual. Well, <laughs> yeah, you, but it doesn't exonerate you. Mm. It doesn't excuse you. It does not absolve him. So, look, if we are in a country of law and order, rule of law, justice is blind, justice is not discriminating, how is it that he is even still serving on the board? Kusibuati Edujenfi, whatever the real name is, only God really knows. Hmm? He's still serving on the board, has not been fired, he hasn't resigned, he's not being prosecuted. And yet the Honorable Kwesi, look, if you look at the charges against Honorable Kwesi, <laughs> the Attorney General's Department doesn't have to do a lot of work. You can just juxtaposition. <laughs> you know, deceit of public officers, false statutory declarations, misleading public officers. I mean, are these not charges that apply fair and square in this case? When a court of competent jurisdiction the Human Rights Court has said, and, it, and look, the judge did not mince words, even went after his lawyers, that they should have offered him some better advice. You know, so you, you, you have a situation where an attorney general who is so associated to this cabal uh, is turned the other, uh, 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 is, is looking the other way. He is not showing any interest. No prosecutions have begun and yet is going after political opponents. Be that as it may, on the 24th of July, uh, 2023, Shraj offered or delivered a very significant ruling. Uh, so since the 16th of January, when uh, I petitioned Shraj on these matters, with the exception of the I've, controller... I've just, I've just realized why... You you did not uh, uh, name name the ownership of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just discovered why. <laughs> ownership of what? Just the, the the company that dissolved the secretary <laughs> secretary to the oh, Is there a problem with it? <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem with the ownership? I'll tell you of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mischievous Doctor Randy Abe. <laughs> of it, I'll tell you why he didn't discuss it. <laughs> why? What's the problem? I'll tell you of it. So so. <laughs> So, Doc, yes. on the... I understand you're not doing full disclosure. Oh, no, no. I've, I've always yeah, been just full. like... I've, I've, I've just, always been Just like he's still not told us uh, the reasons for his... Uh, yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's Resignation not. from the committee. Why are you not doing full disclosure? Oh, no, no. That's no, that's no issue. I just don't, didn't want to walk into, into, into family... Just go on. Just matters, go on. But, I mean, uh, there's, well, there's you, are no, you are related to them? Uh, my uncle is, uh, is, is behind it. Uh, ah. So that's a problem. Uh, so because of that, you don't do food. No, no, that's, that's, I mean, it, it's irrelevant, really, but no, no problem. I mean, I, I, as, as I've told you. If your uncle was that's involved, you do food disclosure. No, no, no. I mean, I've made a point that it has interest in ownership. I, I, I just, I just so didn't want brought to. that there's ownership of interest, you should let us know. <laughs> no, no. It's, this I'm, I'm this is public I'm information. No, no, it's public I'm information. I'm opening. No, but <laughs> we're having a discussion. Yeah. And I need to be fully apprised because I'm so, maybe, so, maybe I have a so comment. So I have made full disclosure. You need full disclosure. Yeah. No, you said from your anchor. Yes, the, the, uh, the, the, the your appointee on it's the Council of State, uh, Uncle Sami Okujeto. His is, company is now the is, secretary. He's behind yeah, yeah, Senna Charter Secretary. So he, they are now the secretaries to the yes. Yes. cathedral committee. Something. Yes, uh, not him, I must say the, that. He's appointed uh, as the, yeah, the company. That was it. Was it? Yeah. There's nothing wrong. Yes, yeah. I haven't said there's anything wrong. That's no, why I said way, it. Yeah. The way you were thinking it mysterious. No, no, no. no. It's nothing mysterious. I just and you were restrained the because your uncle is involved. It's, I, I, how was I restrained? I revealed that he has interest in ownership. I didn't, no, no, I didn't no, want yeah. to put myself <laughs> at the center of matters. You know, but 
but back to weightier matters. Weightier matters. Uh, let's let's not be distracted uh, by needless diversions. So, you, Randy, I mean, you so, have to restrain. I mean, so on we are the, having, no, no, one second. We're having a discussion. Mm -hmm. Randy makes a point. You make yeah. a point. I want clarification. Yeah. How can you say that is a distraction? Now, not Kevin De Bruyne. How can you say that's a distraction? So, uh, you, I'm, I'm asking so, for so clarification. It's what, okay, clarification. Okay. And you've, given, you've given it. Okay, so I substitute distraction with clarification. Are you happy? Can I proceed? Please go ahead. Okay. So, on the 24th of July, uh, <clears throat> a for, very, the, for those of you involved in political communications, I hope you are learning. Ah, yeah. ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Yeah, how to, the, how the, to restrain themselves. <laughs> 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 so, Eric has a family member. How to take advantage of openings, <laughs> <laughs> which are offered by the host. <laughs> right. You know, is the is the is the reason why mm. I uh, I quickly made a point mm. that uh, there's interest in ownership. Yeah, but back to the more substantive issue. Mm. Uh, so on the 24th of July, a very significant uh, date. Uh, you know that 24th of July is the day we commemorate the passing of the only president to die in office, my mentor, the iconic Professor Mills. Uh, so the day uh, brought us significant good news. Uh, the commission... Today is the birthday of my late mother. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. Should have been what? 77. Okay. Oh. So the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice uh, delivered a significant ruling. So all along since the 16th of January, uh, when this petition was lodged on all of these matters bordering on uh, uh, double identity conflict of interest, the respondents, there are seven of them, the Finance Minister, Control Accountant General, uh, the National Cathedral Board of Trustees, Kwabner uh, Edu Victor Kusibuatin, Johannes Eshen, Sheila Eshen, all of them except the Contrary Accountant General, raised preliminary objections on the uh, jurisdiction of Shraj to proceed with their investigations. Uh, they did not contest the substance, uh, the evidence before uh, Remember that uh, I was making the point about conflict of interest that the same person on the board of the trustees as Victor Kusibuatin is the same uh, person at JNS Talent Center Limited who received payment of 2.6 million Ghana cities for no work done really. My contention is that uh, they were not contractors, they don't have any contract with the National Cathedral and should not have received that payment. Uh, and, and, and so, um, unknown to all of us, but for the investigations we did, we would not have known that it's the same person really uh, transferring funds uh, to uh, his other identity uh, under uh, another company, another entity. You know, so that really is the background. The opposition that the respondents filed, they are saying that uh, matters of, um, of this nature uh, should not uh, be entertained by Shiraj. Particularly, they are uh, referring to the procurement breaches. Because remember that in my petition, I also raised the issue that there had been no respect for the procurement laws of our country. I did raise the right to information request uh, to Shraj, and uh, sorry, to the PPA. And the PPA responded that when it comes to the National Cathedral, they have not engaged in any uh, approval. The project has not been brought uh, before them, which is a major uh, legal violation so far as the procurement uh, uh, law is concerned. They are saying that within the Procurement Act are remedies and um, uh, there's, there should be a separate uh, forum to deal with those breaches. It should not be Shraj's um, matter uh, to look at. Shraj should not uh, be bothered with those, with those, with those matters. Uh, but Shraj has delivered a very erudite uh, ruling very detailed one, and um, they have overruled 
all the objections uh, by the six respondents. And what is significant is that uh, Shiraj has... Um, uh, let me just read the last, the last uh, paragraph. It says that... Uh, for the above enunciated reasons, the preliminary objections raised by the respondents are overruled and the Commission will thus continue with its investigations into the matter. And it's signed by Joseph Whittell, the Commissioner of, of Shraj. So Shraj is now going to delve into the merits, into the substantive uh, uh, matters before, before it. And this is, this is very significant. If these uh, objections had been sustained, uh, or had been entertained by Shiraj, it would mean that the petition is dead and uh, Shiraj would not have gone into these matters to look into, into uh, these, these very, very uh, grave matters that, that have come up. So I want to commend Shiraj for the, for the courage. Uh, uh, we've always talked about having strong institutions. I mean, it's not easy for uh, uh, a constitutional body to look at to all of these, you know, if you like, prominent Ghanaians and overrule the, uh, the objection. I mean, the finance minister, Ken Ophoriata, everybody knows, you know, very powerful relative of the president. You have all of this board of trustees, uh, Professor Poku Nina and, and others who all filed objections. Um, and um, there are the, the other respondents, Edu Jemfi, Kusi Boatin and others. So I want to comment, Shraj. We need strong institutions, and um, they, they need to be encouraged that the Ghanaian people are strongly behind them. They should not be intimidated at all. Uh, they should not fear whoever you know, tries to stop them in, in pursuing their constitutional mandate. I must also add that the other significance of this is that you know, the members of the Board of Trustees have been out there doing a lot of... Uh, uh, unfair communication, uh, saying that um, if I have any evidence, I should bring them before institutions, and that uh, you know um, uh, they don't even want to respond to my lies and all of that. Very, very, you know, uh, unfair and, um, and blistering attacks have been lodged uh, uh, at me, uh, but they don't tell the Ghanaian people <laughs> that all the evidence have been before institutions. They are not matters that I just put out on social media and go to bed. We've been working, we've been engaging lawyers, you know, I mean, doing a lot of work. You know, appear before these institutions, you know. Remember that even apart from Shraj, I've appeared before PPA. I have a motion in Parliament calling for a full-scale parliamentary probe, which has been admitted by the Speaker. And yet, they are quick to go out there and create the impression that, oh, he only goes on social media. He's only engaged in a popularity contest. <laughs> you know, very, very unfair attacks. Now, here we are. They have been exposed. All along, when they were telling the Ghanaian people that they are ready, uh, they want to face any institution, it turns out that that is not the case. You are doing everything to prevent Shiraj, constitutional body, from investigating, from doing their work. If really you have nothing to hide, you should welcome this investigation. You should, you should be happy about it and say that, yes, the MP has a petition. Yes, right. Quickly go into it. We are ready. For six months, we have been battling jurisdiction. You've been trying everything under the sun to stop Shraj from looking into this matter. And yet you go out there and say that the MP is not um, <laughs> ready to appear before uh, credible bodies and state institutions and that you are ready but I am the one on social media engaged in a popularity contest. So I hope that the facts are clear now. Uh, they have been uh, really exposed about their duplicity and their double standards. Doc, I must conclude on other interceptions which I made uh, in the course of the week which um, I know that you you'll be really interested in those matters because on this platform you have been asking consistently uh, how did Victor Kusibuatin Kwabne Dujenfi come by his diplomatic passport? Those who issued a diplomatic passport, were they aware or not of his dual identity? Uh, I don't know, Doc, if you, if you have seen them, but I published uh, documents that 
uh, we intercepted from the office of the president mm. dated the 10th of November 2021, where the presidency clearly was aware of this whole double identity scheme. Um, so the president, the, the vice president, the chief of staff, the secretary to the president, they are all neck deep in this matter. Now I can say that categorically because of documentation, fresh documentation in our possession. So uh, the National Cathedral Secretariat had written to the presidency on October 27, 2021. says, Dear Chief of Staff, Diplomatic Passport for Official Travel, National Cathedral of Ghana, Trustee Member Secretary, Greetings. I write to request a diplomatic passport for Official National Cathedral of Ghana, Travels, for Kwabna Edujimfi, a.k.a. Reverend Victor Kusi Boatin, Member Secretary, National Cathedral Board of Trustees with the appointment of a contractor for the project and the beginning of the construction phase, international fundraising and the development of international institution partnerships for the National Cathedral Project has begun in earnest. The member secretary of the NCG Board of Trustees will be a key part in both the fundraising and play significant roles. We seek your help to acquire the diplomatic passport to facilitate these travels related to the development of the National Cathedral of Ghana. Thank you for your help in this matter. Yours faithfully, Dr. Paulo Pokumens, Executive Director, National Cathedral of Ghana. Then the presidency promptly responds in a letter signed by Nana Bidiotu Asante, Secretary to the President. And this is a letter addressed to the Honorable Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration. It reads, Honorable Minister, request for diplomatic passport, Mr. Kornel Dujinfi, a.k.a. Reverend Victor Kusibuati. I write to inform you that approval has been granted for the issuance of a diplomatic passport in favor of Mr. Kornel Dujinfi, a.k.a. Reverend Victor Kusibuati, Member Secretary of the National Cathedral of Ghana, NCG, Board of Treasury, to enable him to undertake official assignments abroad. It would therefore be appreciated if you could kindly grant approval for a diplomatic passport to be issued to him. So these documents we have intercepted reveal that the presidency cannot play Pontius Pilate. Uh, so the presidency, yeah. So from the secretary of the cathedral board, yeah. yes, which is under the presidency, yes, to the executive secretary, secretary. of the president, yes, they refer to the Kusibuati as an alias, as an alias, yes. Yet they are the same people who registered that name yes. with a statutory document yes. making him a trustee of the cathedral. Absolutely. And yet, that name which is on a statutory document in this letter suggests that it is an alias. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, because what, as what we kind speak, of... Yeah, as we speak, I see, this is the article of incorporation. You still have Victor Kusi Boateng. Is it on their letterhead? Yes, it's on their letterhead. No, but I'm saying on that their website. letters like this. The appointment letter. Letters like this yeah. for issuers of diplomatic passports. Yeah. From the secretary of the cathedral yeah. to the presidency. Yeah. And from the executive secretary of, or the secretary mm -hmm. of the president. Mm -hmm. the, the title keeps confusing me. Yeah. You know, to the minister of foreign affairs. They say AKA. Yeah. Which means that it is an alias. Yeah. Meanwhile... That is the same identity with a statutory document that you have registered the person as a trustee Absolutely. at the Registrar General's department. Yes. Yes. I mean, incredible. Incredible. Yeah, so, Agra, you so, mean they are using the two names uh, interchangeably? Yeah, in official letters. In official letters. They are using the AKA. two names. Yes. AKA. In official yeah. letters. As I've, an alias. I've never seen that before. AKA, meaning it's an alias. Official yeah. letter. Yeah. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, when it comes to your registration of the National Cathedral of Ghana, I have the Articles of Incorporation. Now, do you get the point? You, yeah, I'm saying you, are, you are using the alias, Victor Kusi Boateng. That's how you registered him. He has, he has a national ID, his DVLA. He used the, 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 the driving license to register this, which is in the name Victor Kusi Boateng. Then he obtains a Ghana card in the name Kwabna Edujenfi. Then a diplomatic passport now, which you are applying for, if you did your due diligence, you will have realized that they it's, didn't, not, it's not even an alien. No, they didn't need due diligence. It's not an alien. They are the same people yeah. who registered the man as a trustee. Exactly. With Kusi Boatin, with yes. that ID. Yeah. And his name as Kusi Boatin is what is on their letter until today. Exactly. Now, 
why would you write an official letter mm -hmm. and then the name which you have used to register the person as a trustee mm -hmm. with a statutory document yes you describe it as, as an alliance as an aka, alliance, AKA. Only in the presidency of Ghana. It's, it's unbelievable. So you see why they cannot fire him? Why he's uh, all over the place? You know, it's because on, if, you want it's, to, it's if you even want to prosecute this matter, can't be prosecuted. if you want to prosecute this matter, in yeah. fact, yeah. those who wrote these letters, yes. those who wrote these letters, yeah. they are those who should be prosecuted. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree with you. So, so look, tomorrow is pregnant. Tomorrow is pregnant. All the way to the Attorney General himself, who was on the board, he thinks he can now jump ship quietly and claim limited involvement. The day of accountability is first of all. Tomorrow is the judgment or something. Let me just clear something. Mm -hmm. When you are speaking about Shiraj, did yeah. you say that the National Cathedral objected to Shiraj's jurisdiction? Yes. The National Cathedral yes, itself? Yes, yes, yes. Reverend Opokonye, I have his. Yes. Because the, the, there's a portion of the, the thing that... Um, um okay so okay so let me read this part yeah uh, competency of commission to investigate board of national cathedral as already articulated above the commission has a mandate to investigate all instances of alleged or suspected acts of corruption and the misappropriation of public monies by officials pursuant to article 218a and uh, e of the 92 constitution section 71a and f of act 456 the third respondent, National Cathedral Board, Acting Press Chairman Apostle Professor Pokunina, did not challenge the jurisdiction of the Commission in this respect. The objection to jurisdiction has rather been raised, interestingly, by counsel for fourth to seventh respondents. According to counsel, a board of an artificial entity is not clothed with. So, so this is what the ruling says. Mm -hmm. It says that the, 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 the uh, Cathedral Board itself, as mm -hmm. the third respondent, did not. It's rather the fourth to the seventh who objected. But they, 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 yeah, to that specific, yes. that specific That's matter. That's the competency the of competen the commission to yes. investigate the board of a national government. Yes. 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 On that but, score. Yes, but yes. on that on that score. Yes. But they raise an objection on the, the political question doctrine. Okay. Signed, is yes, signed by Apostle Bukunina. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And, 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 they, and they, they insisted that Shirai should not proceed. Okay. Uh, on, on the basis on of the that. basis just, uh, just to have clarity yeah to yes. have clarity yes. they, 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 and their preliminary objection they raised uh, is here in their letter dated january 31st so their, their objection was january 31st their objection was in the issue of the uh, bridges of the procurement act yes that's yes. where the object yes. Yes. yes that's where they objected bridges of the procurement act okay. and then the political question doctrine they, you know as part of the petition i said that uh, we were told that public funds would not be used mm. but then on our blind side, they have used public funds without right. parliamentary approval. Right. So they raise, each, they raise the political question doctrine. Mm. Uh, it's signed here, 31st January. It's signed. It's a, it's a 12-page objection signed by Apostle Professor Pokunya. Mm. Mm. Yep. So, so all, all they are objecting all to six, Yes, that Shrak should not proceed. It was only the contract counter judge who didn't file any objection. He appears to have welcomed it and is ready to cooperate. And what is the basis of the, the that Shrak shouldn't uh, proceed? Well, quite they cite, they cite some cases. They, they they cite quite or, a, one, they talk about that the procurement breaches is not for sure to go into. Then they raise the political question doctrine that if uh, politicians make promises and they don't, you know, adhere to it, you know, it's a political matter and Shrai should not ve I mean, venture into Where is the human into rights political argument? matters. You know, Where is the human rights? So the conflict of interest is the... the, the so Apostle Pokunina also challenges that, that they don't see any conflict of interest. But it's, it's clear to me, and the Shiraj has said, look, there's prima facie basis for conflict of interest. But Shiraj can deal with the conflict of yes, interest. Yes, yes. Remember in my case, uh, which, which has become really the locus classicals when it comes to conflict of interest, Kujatua Blako Mane Buama versus Jacob Echevilante, the Supreme Court ruled that when it comes to conflict of interest, the forum is Shiraj. Don't go to any other place don't go to the courts it's shrek so uh that 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 uh, authority even came up in this mm -hmm. ruling that uh, they, they they really have no business you lost that case uh they obituary lampe you yes lost. in a 5-3 yeah 5-3 decision but we were commended for our that's all we got commendation at for least our, three of the three yeah, of the justices agreed agreed with, with us mm -hmm. yes
The majority yeah. didn't agree. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are commended for yes. bringing it. Bringing yes, our, our patriotism and our public spiritedness. Mm. Mm.